As hard as this might be to process, there are quite a few men that hate you. And when you start to do things that you're leveling up with education, finances, or what have you, it will upset their inner demons and be a reminder of failure. And I know because I used to date men like that. Hold it. I don't think that this woman was dating a real man when she is referring to those guys who used to get mad at her leveling up financially or even educational wise. If you are dating a real man, that man probably is going to empower you to do better than you did before anyway, because a real man wants his woman to stay occupied, wants her to uh, develop, evolve to the best of her abilities. You know why? Because that's what he does. And a real man leads by example. So when you are leveling up as a woman and you are with a pookie, so as they call these guys, of course he's not going to like that. But at the, on the other hand, men will never care about the amount of money a woman makes because it doesn't matter. A man can go out there and start his own career, make his own money, you know, pay his own bills, which is actually a basic adult activity, just to get that clear. And you know, there are so many women who brag about their paychecks, about their careers, who compete with the man in those things. And when really the man is like, Wait, listen, woman, I don't care about that. I don't care about it because it counts for you to be feminine. You need to be cooperative. You need to be nurturing. We keep saying these same things, but I kind of feel like it needs to be said and addressed every time because a lot of women don't understand the fact that men don't care about the paycheck that they make. They don't care about the titles that these women carry because it doesn't matter in a man's life. It doesn't matter. You can be, you can be the, I don't know, the CEO of a hospital and you can come home and still don't be fit as a wife. Do you know how many times that happens, especially with women who work with a lot of men and have some type of power at the job? They come home still having that competitive facade that they had at the job. At the job. But these women tend to forget that they don't have to compete anymore with a man when they are at home. That's why, in my personal opinion, it is not good for a woman to work in an environment that is full and filled with men. You know, women already in are so masculine. And then when they go out there and work in the field where there are a lot of men and they have to be competitive amongst one another, that woman is going to be more masculine on top of the masculinity she already adapted because of this toxic feminism that's supposed to empower her. But these women just don't understand that every day they feed into the energy of this toxic feminism it's taken away energy and power from them as a woman, but they don't understand this. They think they're doing something good when they try to bow up to their man, when at the end of the day, they are never at, on the same level as a man because they will never be able to beat a man. You know, that is the difference. Besides, I have never came across a video where a man says, oh woman, I hate you for your education. I hate you for your degree. I cannot stand the money you make. It never, I never come across a video like that. I never come across a video where a man is trying to put a woman down, how you say, I think belitter, belitter, I can't say, I don't know that word. Put a woman down for what she is doing when she's trying to do better for her. On the other hand though, how many women are on the internet talking a whole bunch of crap about men who are trying to do better for themselves? Let's take the passport bro movement for example. How many videos are out there, women insulting men, oh, who do you think you are? Who do you think where you going? You used to be broke back in the day, now you have a passport travel in the world, trying to find women, or should I say doormats, you know? But I'm digressing here. Just to compare, men never make hate videos. Women, on the other hand, the internet is flooded with hate videos. What a man doesn't like is though, when women have their degrees, they throw it all up in their faces, they're making it seem like it really means something. And I told you, in a man's world, it really doesn't matter what type of degree a woman has. And I'm not saying education is a bad thing. Of course, go out there, get educated, get your job, get your career, you know, get your CEO title. There's nothing wrong with it. But don't act like it means something to a man because it doesn't. Because everything that you do, woman, the man can do. Everything that you want to do, a man already did. So you are really not doing anything new. So what you really need to do is you need to work on your femininity. You need to work on being loyal, being honest, being reliable. These are all things and many more that men are looking for, that men need, 
you need to become an asset to that man's life and not a liability. The great Kevin Samuels used to hammer this all the time and it is so right. But women get offended by that. You know why? Because the moment the women hear the word helpmate and asset to a man's life, they get offended because they feel like it's degrading to serve a man. But you know what? If you don't serve, you don't deserve. That's what I feel like. I feel like if I'm sitting here on the internet talking to you guys, if I don't serve some type of information, serve for you to think or even do better for yourself, for your environment, for your future by giving you ideas, experiences, and thoughts, I don't deserve any good feedback. I don't deserve anybody telling me, oh my God, you know what? You made me think about my past and my future. You, you know, you're giving me ideas and I get that a lot and that makes me feel special. So if you don't serve, you don't deserve. The same thing goes for a woman because the man is the protector, the man is the provider. Women always say that, but when it comes to, you know, um, supporting that provider and that protector, everybody's like, wait a minute, what do you mean by that? I don't need him. And I'm here to tell you women, we all need men. Society wouldn't exist without men. You may be like, yeah, but we give birth. I understand that. But even that cannot work without a man. The world has been built by men. And I don't care what people say in the comment section, but let me not digress any further. Let's get back to the video that I played in the beginning. So yes, it is not true. A real man would never hate on the fact that a woman is trying to do better for herself. Pookies and Ray Ray, on the other hand, they would. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, whatever you feel like. I'm very open to for um, constructive criticism. And um, yeah, thank you so much for taking your time and actually listening to what I have to say. And don't forget to spread the message. Spread our message, people. Thank you so much and take care.